Hi, welcome to Voice Bootcamp. My name is Pasa Khan, and I am the Genesis Cloud Instructor at voicebootcamp.com. In this video, we're going to give you an overview about the Genesis Cloud platform. Now, Genesis Cloud, which is a cloud-based, all-in-one platform designed to meet organizations and its contact center needs. Now, it is a pure 100 base uh, cloud running on Amazon AWS services. Now, these services are available to organizations of any size that require unified communication or collaboration. However, there are a certain number of users may need to meet the requirement in order for you to get a subscription. Genesis Cloud CX is a suite of cloud-based services and applications that is built on a cloud infrastructure but provided by AWS. It does provide a secure access to the organizations worldwide. So the whole Genesis Cloud CX environment is a collection of uh, microservice application that runs simultaneously and delivers to the customer via the internet protocol. Internet. Now, uh, when we talk about the uh, Genesis Cloud CX, we're going to focus on three different components. You got the collaboration, communicate, and the contact center. All of these three elements are kind of managed by the Genesis Cloud uh, platform, often known as the Pure Cloud. Now, it is based on a microservice architecture. Microservice architecture style is an approach to uh, develop a single application in a suite of smaller services. So you basically what you do, you break down a very large uh, application into smaller pieces and then have them have each pieces communicate with each other using HTTP resource API. A large application is broken down into multiple applications. Enable each application to update independently, make it easier to isolate and correct bugs, as well as other issues. Now, it, it, the individual applications are the microservice that makes up a large applications. Now, think about individual applications running on a, a solution like a, something called a Docker which is basically contains its own container, own process, memory, and et cetera. In the traditional way of developing application was like, for example, monolithic way, where a single tier software application in which the user interface and a data access codes are all combined into single program from a single platform. The Genesis Cloud CX, as I mentioned, there are four, uh, three different uh, components that we are going to focus on. The first one is called the Genesis Cloud Collaborate. Now, Genesis Cloud CX Collaborate is a social media app that helps user collaborate within the organizations. So for example, you may have five employee or 20 employee, and then you will add them to the Collaborate by creating their profile. Now, these employees can communicate and see each other, chat with each other, uh, engage with each other. Now, you can also use the Collaborate to provide a centralized directory services that contains user details, such as their name, education, hobbies, skills, physical location, department, or any given organizations. So whenever you create a user account in Collaborate, you're basically creating a profile, and the same profile data that we just talked about, the name and all education skills, become a searchable uh, keyword. That means if you are looking for someone located in Dubai, you, you can use the word location in uh, the search query, and then you will find all the people in, from Dubai. So basically the data that you have in your Collaborate uh, profile also act as a keyword search within your uh, Genesis Cloud. Now, obviously, uh, in our organization, you have employees that need to communicate with each other, either by uh, via some sort of device or software applications. Most companies probably use a phone, physical phone like Cisco phone or a Java, if you're using coming from Java or Microsoft Teams. In Genesis Cloud, you could use a, a SIP-based phone or WebRTC phone. So the SIP based phone could be either uh, a compatible SIP phone, hardware phone from, that's supported by Genesis, or you could use a third party SIP phone. Now, when it comes to third party SIP phone, there could be some feature lacking that depending on uh, the phone itself, but nevertheless, you could register a third party SIP phone if you want to. 
Now, in order to do that, you need to create a some sort of phone trunk. We'll talk about that later. But Genesis also provides something called the WebRTC phone uh, enabled phone. WebRTC enabled phone is a, a Genesis Cloud CX phone, which is basically using your web browser to dial and receive calls from your client or users. Now, Genesis Contact Center, which is the main product or main component that we're going to focus on, is basically a complete contact center solutions that offer customer and out of out of the box, all in one contact center solutions that allows the customer to engage through a multi communication channel or sometimes we refer as omni channel. Now, these such channels are, for example, voice call, uh, you can do fax fax machine you could uh, email uh, the con uh, contact you can do a web chat with the contact you can do sms chat social media or even callback now genesis cloud cx will collaborate and communicate uh, and the just say like genesis cloud collaborate and the genesis cloud communicate form the foundation of your contact center as as it relies on that and it provides organization a fully functional unified communication system. Now, the cloud contact center has many different features. For example, you have the call feature for the agent, outbound dialing, you got Genesis Cloud CX ACD, quality management, scripting, reporting, as well as alerts. Now, the call feature for agent, for example, uh, when we talk about the first feature, an agent interacts interactions are the frontline exchange of information between the company and its contact, the contact being the customer. Now, these call features include consult transfer, web chat, queue, uh, queue status check, wrap up code, after, uh, after call uh, work or wrap up uh, time, as well as agent assistance. These are the call feature for a particular agent. When an agent receives a call, obviously the agent will answer the call and you know transfer the call. Sometimes, sometimes they have to transfer a call to maybe an individual. They may have to establish a new call, or they may be uh, chatting with the customer using a web browser. Um, at some point, you may need to find out how many calls are waiting in a queue so that you can answer or uh, take calls from the queue by going into ready mode. And then when you hang up the call, there are a certain amount of time that mean that's given to you that that you could be using to complete the previous call. That's called a wrap up time. So the wrap up time before you go into wrap up time, you may need to choose a wrap up code that will allow you to say okay, why you're going into that mode. It could be completing an old call. It could be updating a customer database, could be updating agent information, taking notes, whatever that you can think of. Then you have the outbound dialing. Now, the outbound dialing is a very common and very popular feature of any contact center. In many environments, you may have a companies whose primary business is just dialing customers, outsource reach or outsource marketing. It could be telemarketing. It could be uh, voting uh, election time when the vo uh, let's say campaign personnel calls voters. It could be a company marketing company doing a survey by having calling the customers. So outbound dialing uh, allows administrator to set up and camp set up the campaign to dial a bunch of phone numbers automatically. The campaign screens out the screen machine. So when you dial someone and it, that that call was answered by either an answering machine or voicemail, the Genesis Cloud outbound component will be able to detect that as being an answering machine. Or if you call someone and then realize that that person is busy, it will identify as a busy signal or non-completed call. It is important for Genesis to mark that call. So because otherwise you don't want to keep calling the same machine that always keep going to the answering machine, right? By setting a campaign's dialing mode, administrator will ensure that the agent receives only those calls uh, that, re that, re that reach a live individual. Now, the system will wait 30 seconds to answer an outbound call before disconnecting. This, this action will ensure that the call disconnect on time if a person does not answer. 
Now, typically, you wait for three to four ring before an individual answer the call, but uh, Genesis gives a little bit more time so that it will ultimately um, uh, hang up at some point. Then you have the ACD functionality, which is called the Automatic Call Distributor or ACD, which is basically a telephony system that receives an, an inbound call and route them to a capable agent as quickest and uh, direct manner. Now, Genesis Cloud CX ACD functionality matches customer interactions and the agent, depending on what options the customer has chosen and what the business logic dictate what to do for that is given uh, option. It then process and assigns interactions to the appropriate agent by choosing the uh, agent uh, extensions and then transferring the call to that individual. It uses a queue, queues routing method to match and interaction and the agent. Now the evaluation method that determine how a skills-based routing method processes skills requests as well as matches an agent interactions. Now the no uh, uh, scripting part of it is that every contact center will have a, 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 a scripting capability. Without a scripting, it cannot create the flow. So in Genesis, administrator can use the script designer to create a script that help agent process interactions. Now the script displays the editable records, instruction to each agent, how to, how to who handles a particular type of interactions. It provides an agent with details about the call, caller or contact. Now, often the field of collecting and updating information can be programmed within the script. A properly designed script will ensure that your call goes to appropriate agent in the most efficient manner as possible. Then you have a quality management, which is another important aspect of any contact center. Quality management is a framework that allows the manager to record and evaluate agents' interaction with their clients and to improve the contact center experience by continue continue to train the agent with appropriate uh, measures so that they can deal with the customers either is uh, issues with their uh, product or how they behave in the sector by evaluating and scoring conversation a quality team will identify the agent who deserve recognition and who need more training or coaching you can also specify situation that for example where you may need to let go one of your engineers because they're not performing the way you're, so not the engineers, the agent, because they're not performing the way that they should be. Now, no contact center is complete without reporting and views. Managers and supervisor, as well as the agent, often needs a way to kind of get views and reports to uh, see how the contact center is performance, performing. Now, obviously, each will have different requirement uh, so that you can create a separate views for agent versus managers. A dynamic view will show the historical and real-time metric for a contact center. Q, agent, interactions, outbound campaign, schedules, callback, workforce management, they all can be part of your views. Now, when you log into your reports view and dashboard, a dashboard will display the real-time activity in a contact center, such as the service level agreement, SA, SA, ASA, the number of customer interactions, the number of call customers that are waiting on the queue, and so and so. Now, the report displays the past metrics and data from your contact center so that your engineers can or your reporting uh, team or your managers that can use that information to kind of create a capacity planning or even provision for uh, hiring more agents or whatnot. Now, when something goes wrong, you want to be notified so that you can take an action immediately, correct? That's where the alert comes into play. Alert will notify the administrator, supervisor, and managers of calls that are that are longer that uh, longer than a specific durations or average hold time that exceed a particular value or various other situations that are that are of concern. For example, you can say that if the call is waiting in a queue for thirty minutes, you want the manager to managers to be aware of it, so you can generate an alert uh, where it, a signal will go to the manager saying that look, there are a few calls waiting in the queue for more than 30 minutes. So A, a manager could then read that information and kind of find out what's going on. Uh, do I have enough agent? Are agents taking longer than necessary to close a call? 
or if the agents are not even handling call, for example, for whatever reason. So there are many steps that you may need to take, but in order to do that, you need to be notified that for that. And that is when the alerting comes into us uh, very useful. Now, regardless of the user's role, every member of your organization will either use, collaborate, or communicate. Now, some user may use may uh, may may just use collaborate, but not necessarily the communicate. Meaning that you have a user account for let's say Joe, but Joe happens to be a janitor janitor for your organization. He or she may not necessarily need a SIP phone to do communications, or you may have a, a user that has. Uh, is just doing some temporary work. So you may not need a phone for that individual. So it is possible that the user will have a collaborate account, but not necessarily a co-communicate feature. But then we have a user, uh, you, you may have an environment where you may have a 5,000 employee, but you, but you came from, sorry about that. You came from an environment where you already have an existing PVX system. For example, you may already have a call manager, CUCM, or you may have a via call uh, phone system, or maybe a third party phone system, but now you're just using the Genesis for uh, contact center. Well, in that case, you may not necessarily need a communicate feature for all your employees, but only you need them for the agent. So let's say out of 5,000, maybe 250 of them are your agent. In that scenario, you will have 250 communicate features because they're gonna need a phone to communicate with. Then you have the contact center. Now these are the people who are gonna be responsible for your contact center uh, services. These are staff responsible for customer engagement that have access to additional features specifically related to contact center communications. So, uh, such user will have role like contact center agent, supervisor, telephony administrator, and a supervisor administrator, a super administrator. All right, so as you can see, this is the overview about our Cisco Gen uh, sorry, Genesis Cloud CX uh, contact center. This is, uh, you know, it has three major components, which is collaborate, communicate, and contact center. Collaborate is basically provide data, uh, user profile, and data related to the users, where uh, it's a social media app that allows you data user to communicate with each other or engage with each, with each other. Then you have a communicate feature that provides telephony capability, such as SIP phone or WebRTC phone and video capability. And then of course you get the contact center feature that provides agent, customer engagement, uh, workflow management, scripting, call flow, et cetera. All right, so hope you understand, hope you got an idea about what Genesis is. We're gonna learn more, uh, gen a more advanced feature of the Genesis as we go through this course. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next video.